Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can um, schedule a job and whatever is in the output of the job like the school should be sent automatically to some group of recipients. So in order to do, a, so suppose it might be multiple email addresses and all those things. So for that, what we have done is already we have created the distribution list in SO23. Okay, so this this is the, uh, so if I go here and if I want to click, so here what I'll do is I'll click create a distribution list. Okay, and I'll just give a name, give it workflow list. Okay, and here I'll give the folder, I'll choose the folder here and here it is yes it is now in the distribution list what i'm going to do is i put abc at gmail.com and i'll copy this and i'll put uh hotmail uh, i'll put abc at yahoo.com okay and here in the internet i just press enter and it automatically finds it okay so here i'll just save it now this has the the distribution list has been created now what i'm going to do is i'll just create a job so for in order to create a job i need a program name or something right so i have a program name for sure suppose i'm using the program name suppose uh, hmm. Here I'll use the workflow program RSWUWFML2. Okay, and I don't need a variant, and I'll just schedule it with WF batch. I hope I have authorization. Okay, I have it good. And now what I'm going to do is I'll select spool recipient, spool list recipient. So here what I'm going to do is I'll click on this, I'll click distribution list, and here. I can select my distribution list that I just created this one and I click enter I click copy this is done start condition and I'll click immediate and we'll see whether we have any data first so let's see this will run so this is running using test ran okay and here what I'm going to do I'll click on job selection and we'll just run this and we'll see what happens ran or it's running forever it finished probably there's no job this job log i click on the job log and here see started variant this job finished click on the long text okay there's nothing let's see we go to sost and here we don't see anything because there is no spool generated so let's let's do one thing in order to generate a good spool what I'm going to do is I'll run FDL1N because I need to see some good data okay so what I'm going to do is I'll probably run for 1010 and we'll execute and we want to make sure that a spool gets generated so I'll pick this vendor number okay I'll go here, execute, and what I'm going to do is I'll save this as a variant, test, test, and we'll save it, and that's fine, we are overwriting, now what we are going to capture is the program name, so the program name is this, our fight map, now what we are going to do is we are going to create another job, so I'll create one, three, and I'll click step and I'll change this and I'll put this one and I'll select test okay and we'll save it we'll click on the spool recipient the spool recipient already has this which is good perfect uh, start condition we'll put immediate we'll click on this this is immediate yeah it's immediate and we'll click save the moment this happens, we test one three. We will just see this. Let's see whether it generated something or not. So it's probably running. It didn't generate. Probably there's no spool. So 
so let's see test one three click on this oops sorry job selection and execute this has finished okay i do not have authorization that's the problem so that's the reason probably it didn't get okay so here you see you see uh, well it got generated and here you can see the school has been generated and here you can see the data so if i click on this maximum number of session let me close one here and we'll see click here and here you can see the data so this is very important so with this tutorial we saw we created a the school, we created the distribution list we created a job we created the variant we found the program then we created the job we uh, then we saw in SOS to that data this is very useful when you have a nightly bad job and you want to send the the output to an excel in an excel or or whatever list to the email address so very much useful i don't know everyone uses every department uses this process okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day